Hey, let me ask you this question. Have you ever wanted to change your browser URL without refreshing the page? And I don't mean just by hashtag, I mean actual real URL. If that's something you're looking for, this training video is just for you where I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is for you to do that and it's gonna revolutionize your web development project. So without any further ado, let me just ask you two questions. One, hey, if you like this channel, make sure you subscribe to it. Number two, if you really, really, really enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Or if you have any questions, comment below and I will more than likely answer them in my future video. So let's get right into this video where I'm gonna show you how you can change a browser URL without refreshing this page. So for example, this is my URL at this very moment. So if I click on jQuery, and you will see this changes to this particular URL and the browser has not refreshed. It is still the same page without doing anything else. So if I go here and then it changes it, changes it. And then if I go back here, it changes that. Now, how cool is that? Now, let's put it this way. You might be wondering, oh my God, Mark, that's great. But how is that going to help me in my web development projects. So how is this going to help you is that, let's say if you go to URL A, the page gets loads up. Let's say, I don't know, it takes 800 millisecond or 1.5 second. And then once the page is loaded, and if you wanna go to page number two, you don't have to reload the page. You could just send the AJAX request to your web server and it will get the data, specific data, what you're looking for, and then it's going to be loading it up, and then what will happen from a user experience point of view, your user is gonna like, oh my God, your website is so fast. I click it and it happens, and then everything is so fast. I love your development thing. That is something that is gonna help you by using this particular method. So let me show you how this works behind C so we can walk through it step by step how you can incorporate it into your account in your particular project. So let me refresh the page one more time. So here it is. So just to show you that it does not reload the page. So here it is. So if I refresh it, you will see all of these resources or the files get loaded. So if I click on this, only thing it's gonna do is send this particular AJAX request and that's that. And an AJAX request, this is pretty fast. And if I go here, another AJAX request, nothing else gets reloaded in there besides that particular AJAX request. So in here, here it is, and then that's that. And the reason why these two files get loaded is because that's part of the AJAX request, the file that gets loaded in here. So if I go here, only thing that's get called is this one. So having said all that, now you know how powerful this particular technique is. So let me show you how you can incorporate it into your web application. So here we go. So guys, just so you know, now I'm really, really, really loving this Atom editor. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check that out. And then if you need help, let me know in the comment below so that way I can give you these particular uh, packages that's gonna help you speed up your web development project. That's part of this uh, Atom uh, text editor is extremely, extremely powerful as well as it is very helpful. So I just started using it about, a, I think about a few weeks ago, or whatever, and I absolutely love it. And I, that is a very strong statement for me because I used to be in love with the blind text, but since using Atom, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. So having said all that, so basically this part of the code, if you have followed any of my previous uh, tutorials or videos, this, you know, is just going to give you the app URL, which is going to be, let me just put this side by side here. So here's this, come on, here we go. So here it is, so let's go here. So here it is, so let me go here. So basically this particular function or variable is going to get you this URL. That's all, all of this is doing. That's all that is. And then followed by your standard HTML, which I am not going to go into it. And then I'm using the bootstrap 
uh, 4.4.1 and then jQuery standard no big deal and a couple of uh, things for your CSS which is just like puts this into gray and then changes this into white margin and all that good stuff not the major unit but the thing that actually is going to help you do this without refreshing the page change your browser URL without refreshing the page which is going to be in this JavaScript here which as you know if you follow any of my tutorial I absolutely love 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 jQuery and if you're new to this web development world first of all welcome and if you need any help learning how to use jQuery or JavaScript I have a course that is going to help you speed up the process of learning JavaScript and jQuery make sure you check out the link in the description where you will be able to take that course so let's say if I click on home so let's go over here I refresh the browser if I click on this it's gonna trigger this particular uh, block of code and first of all this is the page URL up top here which is this I just assigned it to a, a variable called page URL and that's all it's going to be and then when someone clicks on the home button what it's going to do is it's going to trigger up this particular uh, event and it's going to take and let's go from let's start with the actual when someone clicks on the jQuery PHP invoice button how does that goes to HR quest and changes the URL because that's going to help you understand better so let's say if I click on any three of these button this particular event is going to kick place and as you can see is a very few lines and you could literally change that so I'm gonna walk you through the HTML part of it first so here it is so if I go down here as you will see this is the block of code that changes it has these buttons and then within this buttons there is a thing called load screen load screen load screen load screen and then then there is the home button that's that and then what I'm doing is that where if someone clicks on this it's gonna go over here and then it's gonna assign get the attribute that is called call type which will be right here so we have home jQuery PHP invoice and that's what gets assigned in here and then I'm just using a simple JSON Ajax call which it takes that page URL and there's a file called ajax.php and then I'm passing in the one parameter which is the call type and then what it's going to do is it's going to go to this particular file and it looks for it the call type if it's set it's going to run this block of code here it says hey if the call type is equal to jquery then return the status to be success and the title which would be for example this this part right here changes so let me go click on home so if i click on jquery you will notice this part over here is going to change to say jQuery and the URL changes as well. So that is what's happening in here and the description of it changes to description of it too. And you're like, well, what, what do you mean description of it? So let's go here and I'm gonna sh click on the inspect part of it and the description part is this right over here. So if I click on jQuery, just pay attention to this. This is going to change to say, jQuery so this part changes title changes and that's that so that is what is happening in here so we got the title that we are getting from PHP if you want to you can I just chose to do it because it's pretty cool and then we have the description and then whatever URL yet yeah, you want to call to show up up here so for example click on jQuery it will change your browser URL right over here to jQuery forward slash jQuery 
dot php so you can call this wherever you want in here and then whatever data that you want to show up here you can just pass it here and same thing happens for the other uh uh, particular button so if I click on home PHP and all that stuff the only difference is when I click on the invoice it does the same thing get the title description URL for but for data there is a file called invoice PHP invoice dash to dot HTML it's just a regular HTML file that I'm just gonna send it and it just opens it up so that's what's happening in here and when the data comes back i'm using a jquery uh, magic function if you want to call it that so it goes to document and looks for attribute called title so in this case it will be this right here so it goes jquery goes hey let me put this over here so you can see it side by side so jquery says hey go to document which is all of this look for an attribute that is called title which is this and then when you find it change the title to be whatever is in the ajax call so in this case this is the title description and then i'm doing this and that's going to just change the content of the description part of it so you could literally take these two incorporate it into your application or not incorporate it. that's completely up to you but the magic the magic the magic that happens is literally in here this one line of code that will change your url without refreshing the page so all you have to do is type in this line just like this and then what it's going to do is it's gonna change your browser url to whatever parameter it has in here. So it takes three parameters. The first two, you could just leave it blank because it doesn't apply. But the third parameter is the actual URL. So for example, if I comment these out, just for giggles, just to show you, and I refresh the page. And let's go back here, refresh the page. If I click on here, and then it will, let me just save it. So it will actually do the results. All right, so here we go. So if I click on here, you'll see this doesn't change. The only thing will change is this. And just to validate that, that when you click on any of the buttons, nothing else changes. So in here right now, the title read change browser URL without refreshing the page, right? So if I click on PHP, it remains the same. However, if I take these two out, uncomment them save it click on this refresh it now the actual title that says change browser url url without refreshing the page when i click that's what the title is right now if I click on jquery now it will say jquery php voice invoice and then back to home and that's what's going to happen so basically this one line of code will allow you to change your browser url without refreshing the page and if you found this video helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that way you get more of these awesome videos that will help you speed up your project and then if there's anything that you feel like hey mark if you would have done x y and z make sure you comment below so that way i will make sure i include them in my future video and until next time guys happy coding and i'll see you in the next video so take care